Battery's at 70%, everything's good. Oh no, what's going on? Critically low battery, auto landing, I can't cancel it. Oh no. So this applies to all DJI drones, but specifically in this case, most likely going to be used on the DJI Vivo. As you can see, I'm just having a ball, flying around, having tons of fun. And uh, I take a look at my battery and I'm going like, yeah, it's a bit low. But, you know, when you're further away, DJI tells you to come home a bit earlier because they want you to land at a certain percentage. So as I decide I'm going to go back home, you're going to see return to home kick in. I have to go to the goggles to click cancel, but you can see the drone is going up all the way. I finally cancel it and decide I'm going to go back home in manual mode because I've got some battery left. I start punching and then suddenly, boom, auto land, can cancel it. There's nothing you can do, you have to go fetch your drone. So what can we do to prevent this? Well, it's quite simple. You can head over to Google, just type in drone hacks, and you can browse over to the download page. Now, for those of you guys that have watched my previous videos, you would know that drone hacks is a fantastic tool that you can use to remove the no-fly zones, altitude limits, and enable FCC mode if you're outside of the US. So this tool is also fantastic because you can use it to upgrade or downgrade your firmware as well as unlock and change the parameters of your drone if you want to. That is free. You do not need to pay for this. You only need to pay if your drone's firmware is on an anti-lock firmware version and you need a special firmware to downgrade and also if you want to remove the no-fly zones, altitude limits and FCC mode. But in our case, we're going to take a look at the limits, so the parameters. So essentially, we're going to jump over, go to the download page, and then click on the download button over here, and that is going to download the program. But before we move on, I just want to mention, this is messing with the parameters. Only do this if you know what you are doing, okay? Because if you change the battery parameters, you could potentially turn off return to home mode if the battery gets flat and the drone is not going to come back home. So only do this if you know what you are doing. So I'm just going to quickly open up the DroneX application and turn on my drone, in this case the DJI FPV drone, and you can do it with any DJI drone. So the settings applies to both. So as you guys can see, I already have a drone hacks license on my drone, but it doesn't matter. Even if I didn't have a license, this would still work. So in this case, it's now loading the export from the server if I wanted to enable all the no-fly zones and stuff like that. But in my case, I'm only concerned about flashing firmware, which is free, and hacking the parameters. Okay, so if I go over to the hack parameters option, and this is very cool. So the drone is going to quickly send its details to the app so that we know what settings are available. And here you guys can see that I can go and change my vertical speed and a bunch of other stuff. I can make it slow if I want to, I can make it fast if I want to. It's a pretty cool function to have. However, this is very limited. Now, what we can do is we can go over to this change parameter section over here and we can go and import settings from someone else. In the description of this video, I'm going to have a link to my settings for my DJI FV drone that removes the the critically low battery limit so if you do fly up very high like 1. whatever kilometers or very far away the critically low battery is not going to kick in and you are able to fly until zero percent if you want to for example and if i have settings that i've saved i can go and export it but if you don't you just want to reset the complete default you can simply click default and it's going to say set everything back to the default now once you've clicked set the default, you must still click right parameters for the changes to take effect, as you guys can see on the screen. In our scenario over here, I'm going to go to advanced parameters and I'm going to make a few changes. Okay, so if you click on advanced, this little pop up is going to appear and you can search for certain values to make certain changes. So the first setting that most of you guys are probably going to want to change is going to be your battery level. So simply go into the search parameters and type in bat underscore level and you see a bunch of options are going to pop up over there. So over here, we are going to take a look at the battery level one. Okay, This, as you can see, is 25%. So when the battery reaches 25%, um, your return to home is going to kick in. Okay, So you can change this if you want. In my case, I'm going to put this to zero. Okay, the second one I'm going to do is I'm going to go, actually, let's go back here, make it zero, click save parameter, click on the next one, and I make my critically low battery, I'm also going to set to zero, because I fly FPV, so I'm in control of the battery, I know what I'm doing. 
If you are not comfortable doing this, leave these settings as is. Okay, very, very important. Okay. The next setting we want to do is we want to remove your battery protection. Okay, so just type in protect. And you're going to see that I have my battery level protection over here. Now, number one is the first option over here. You can see it's already set to zero. I'm going to change my battery level over here. This is my level two. This is when the critically low battery kicks in and the drone will auto land. I'm going to also set this to zero so that it does not pop up and mess me around. And the last one I do want to do is I want to just make sure that my smart battery option has been disabled as well. So you guys can see my battery smart landing protect value. I'm also going to change to zero. Okay. So the settings I've changed now is essentially removed my uh, battery level indicator. So if you are worried about your battery going down, you want to have it to turn off your controller or your goggles and the drone will initiate return to home. It will not on low battery. You are in control. The second one is I've disabled critically low battery where the drone will just start to auto land. You can fly this drone battery down to a little drop out the sky now. But if you are very far out or very high up, a good example would be I flew once up a mountain and the mountain was 1.4, 1.5 kilometers high. And as I reached the peak, um, when I initiate a dive, I couldn't do the dive because the auto land protection kicked in and I had to baby the thing down at three meters per second all the way down. It took like five, six minutes to do so where I would have owned and the battery was at 70 percent. So um, if I had this enabled, I could have dove down basically fall like a rock and we would have used like two or three percent of my battery so this is how you essentially create your dji fpv drone to be absolutely fantastic mountain surfer mountain diver because you can really go up a peak and dive it without worrying that your critically low battery is going to kick in at let's say 60 70 percent okay if you guys have any questions if you like what i'm doing please leave a comment below click the like button subscribe if you like what i'm doing and i'll see you guys in the next one